Hey guys, welcome back to Sister Noyes Corner. Guys, today is Mother's Day. So happy, so happy, so happy. Hey, come with me to church, okay? There's a lot going on today. Our kids are doing big sales for their mission trip. And uh, it's Mother's Day. The church prepared for us. I am so, so happy. I think you am excited. Let's go to church. I hope you are having an amazing day. I hope you are going to church. I hope you are letting nothing bother you today. Enjoy your day. If you are a mother, enjoy your day. If you are a mother to be, be hopeful. Okay? God will get you there. All those of you that are playing mother's role, helping our children grow. Kudos to you. Kudos to you. Okay? Welcome to my channel. I'll see you later. Okay, guys. I'm in church. Oh my goodness. I'm in church. That's the day. Mm -hmm. As always. <laughs> That's my fault. Okay. Good morning, my sister and my friend. <laughs> uh oh, do I? Happy Mother's Day. Yes. That's my sister. I'll show you my sister. Always Sunday routine. I'll see her here. That's how I know. It's going to be a great Sunday. <laughs> when I see my sister, <laughs> I know it's going to be good. I'll let you see her. She's taking my time. I need to go. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I, I got my camera. Here's my sister. So good, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, I gotta get a picture of you in this beautiful dress. And you make it so beautiful because you're beautiful. It's not really the dress is beautiful and true, but it's the lady in this dress. <laughs> Look at you. Oh my goodness. Oh, God. Happy Mother's Day. Day. Happy Mother's Day, Day Brenda. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. And the volunteer room. Getting ready. This service this morning. Is this a time? Time. <laughs> anyway, Hey, I'll show you what this kids come up with. Big sales. Everything's three dollars. Let me show you. Wow. Hey, my Emma. How are you? Great job. Oh my God. Wow, 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 wow. Everything looks good. Let's go here. Wow. Dude, you did good. Who did this? Did you beg them? Uh, no, ma'am. <laughs> no, you didn't. They are homemade by uh, Pastor Gretel. Oh. Pastor Gretel, yeah. She made it for me. Oh, my God. It's lovely. Good job. Jala, Jala. Your table looks good. You want to buy something? Huh? Thanks for my Thank you for a great job. See? They did a good job. Look at this table here. How are you? Good. I'm Marie. I didn't ever know your name. Now I know your name. <laughs> great job. Great job. <laughs> yeah. Y'all did good. Oh, this is my back. 
this one back on my camera because that front will kill. Yeah, I'm telling you. I want <laughs> Let me go find my chain and put something. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. We're daughters of the most high king. Amen. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Can you guys ring these down for me? I'm ready. It's like when I gotta go. Okay, so one front velvet, one wow. and two carrots. Right. Thank Look you. at that. You're Look welcome. at that. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to be Look at that. Okay. Trying to get everybody. Show you. It's still spill over there. Yes, how are you? Beautiful. Big sales. All proceeds for mission trip. Wow. Another gorgeous table. Another gorgeous table. Another gorgeous table. Let me show you another gorgeous table. Um, Wow. I and I also accept apple pay. Ooh, that's so nice. Apple pay set up. Good job, guys. Thank you. Uh, so, <laughs> you just, um, so you wanted the uh, pastry? Uh, oh. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you have just enough pastry. Good job. Tell them hey. Wow. My God. You guys rock it. You guys did an amazing job. Well done. Yeah. Uh-oh, someone donated to you guys. Yeah. Ah. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> right. Okay. So keep going. Good morning. Nice table. Nice table. Yeah. Thank you. Wow, wow, wow. I'm amazed. Happy Mother's Day. Yes, we're good. Excellent job. All right, all right, all right. Tell me, tell me everything. I'm already done. Oh, yeah. 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 thank you. Tell me, tell me each other. Thank you. Uh, a full pie. What kind of pie? Yeah, I'm done. her food from afar. She rises while it's yet night and provides food for her household and portions for her maids. She considers a field and buys it. With the fruit of her hands, she plants a vineyard. She dresses herself with strength and makes her arms strong. She perceives that her merchandise is profitable. Her lamp does not go out at night. She, she puts her hands to the distaff dist and her hands hold the spindle. I don't even know what a staff is, but it sounds cool. Anyway, that's a joke, but anyway. She opens her hand to the poor and reaches out her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for her household are clothed in scarlet. She makes bed coverings for herself. Her clothing is fine linen and purple. Her husband is known in the gates and then sits among the elders of the land. 
She makes linen garments and sells them. She delivers sashes to the merchants. This is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. But anyway, we're going to keep going. <laughs> Strength and dignity are her clothing. And she laughs at the time to come. I love that. She opens her mouth with wisdom. He praises her. Amen. Many women have done excellent, excellently, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Amen. Give her of the fruit of her hands and let her works praise her in the gates. The very beginning calls her an excellent woman. This word excellent is a word hayo. Can I say it with your throat? Can you say it for me? Hayo. Let's touch a little Hebrew. This is the same word that is described, describing Ruth in the book of Ruth. And I just wanted to say um, about my wife, you are a woman of hayo. And my mother-in-law, you are a woman of hayo. And I see many women out here that I look at you and I think, what a woman of hayo. Anybody in here have a woman of hayo that you know in your life? Raise it nice and high. Can we give him a clap? Hands. I've got a couple things for you, ladies. So outside the foyer here, if you were to go out to the right, there's a photo opportunity for you to take some pictures with your family, by yourself, whatever you want to do. It's your day. Treat yourself. Okay? And then um, over in our fellowship hall, if you were to take a turn to the right, in our fellowship hall, we have a, a Mother's Day lounge. Now, let me just say this. Women, you are all welcome. There are many in here that say, maybe I don't have physical children. Um, and you are a, a mother to someone. So come on out, and um, we would love to host you over there as well. And then finally, our Mother's Day bake sale is going on out there. If you saw all those tables with all the baked goods, would you guys check those out when you leave? And also, don't forget the people on the sides over here. We gave them randomly their, their assigned place. But what tends to happen is the people at the very front get kind of uh, the attention. Does that make sense? Uh, so go check all of them out. Buy it up. And it's going directly to Youth Missions to Honduras. Um, yes. Where are missionaries at? You got any in here right now? Okay, yeah. That's awesome. What I wanted to do last year is uh, honor our tithes and offerings. So if you're giving to the Lord, uh, we have envelopes available there on the foyer. Has he called you to fish? Has he called you to grow vegetables? Has he called you to fly a plane? Yes, um, ma'am. It doesn't matter. It's yes. What he's called you to do because we all need we all need people that do that. You know, nothing is um, nothing is. Less thank you, than thank you, thank you. Final thing, and like I said, to be continued. So this is a very, very big subject. But um, your work uh, can be a calling. Motherhood is a calling, um, a vocation. If you think about the way that word is spelled, vocation literally means the work that you that the voice has told you to do. A vocation, your job, trade, ministry, whatever it is. You know, the work of your hands is a vocation, and it will, uh, you will, not even say happy, but the, you know, the peace of the Lord in every situation will, will come and automatically be there if you listen to the voice. Um, so the work that the voice has told you to do is your call. Yes. It's every bit as much as a Peter Pastor, missionary, you know, anything. Similarly, a pastor or a missionary can also merely be doing a job if they're not called to do that. Um, so it's, if the voice is not in it, then don't do it. So your vocation is your voice. Amen. And that's pretty much it. But if you want to, I've just been in Luke 5, is the story of Jesus calling Peter. And I just, I read it all the time because I want to practice my faith. But I want it to become so natural and I want to, that understanding of, you know, one word is not better or more valuable than the other. So all moms today, go home and don't do any work. 
Come on, let's give it up for my woman. Yes! I said my woman. Yes! We also lift up just the ladies in the room, the women of God. Father, we just declare your goodness over them. Father, we thank you for what they have done for us and what they have done for you. What they have provided within their families, within their homes, within this community. Father, we pray that you would bless them today, that you would strengthen them today with your mighty Holy Spirit. Lord, we pray that you would answer every prayer. God, as they draw near to you, that you would draw near to them. And Lord, I pray today for those ladies in this room who carry a burden, a sense of, of guilt, a sense of loss. Maybe they lost a child. Maybe they have a sense of, of failure. Lord, we thank you that it is you that completes us, that we are complete in you. Yeah. 
thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. Yes. So how many children do you have? I have two. Two, what are their ages? Uh, one is 29. One is 16. My sister is Ebuka. You know him? Uh, oh, I think I've heard his name before. Yeah. I'm fairly new to the church. I've oh, not been are? here since like... The fall of last year, kind of on and off. You see him watching in front. He was wearing like, oh, like orange and orange. Today, yeah. Yes, I saw him. He's very pleasant. I'm not talking to him, but he always looks very nice. <laughs> so, you see, you have a going through it, but uh, we'll come to the other side. <laughs> oh, yeah, 16 is a hard age. Hard is hard. It is doing pretty well. It's a good thing. Would you like to do your other hand? Yes. Thank you. Oh. Wow. How are you, sir? Hello. Hey, dear. That's so pretty. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm that's my son and his table. Yes, guys, we're gonna end this video here. This kid did an amazing job. The church was so good. And I will see you in my next video. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Love you. Peace.